it. Dismantle? No, I can make a tear at best. But only for a moment, because there's no... Specifics yet. Will we both get through? No! You must go alone! I'll come back. With Siri. I know! Agarin! Tyrgain!
the gentleman will follow. Report. Fourth kind of squadron. The Funsberg division as a whole. Deserters. Does General Voorhis know? He's at a briefing. They're not letting anyone in. Nonsense. Get in there and report to him at once. Nin to me a day Did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Plenty of work for witches after a war. I'll travel east, maybe north. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? We didn't talk about you. I see. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Need a hand with your wagon? Uh, no. It's not exactly ours. More a cootie, you might say. Folk must have abandoned it in their rush. To where, I don't know. Be a shame for the Reds to claim it, loot it. Change is coming. Grown accustomed, we have. With the Black Ones gone, witch hunters will move in, yet life will roll on. We've to seize the day. True that. So, let's get to work before night creeps up on us. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest in, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the North Guardians. You take care now. Good luck. Come on. Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back.
You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver-plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. It for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had, a better weapon, you ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Ort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm -hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, Heard of Striggers prowling the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I... I'm busy. Let's try it out then. Vladimir had many faults. He was cruel, impetuous, and pathologically ambitious. But he was a tactical genius. That's undeniable. Commanding forces far outnumbered by his foes, he handily defeated the invader from the south. The Redanian eagle spread its wings, taking all the north. Grand beneath. War against 
Nilfgaard secured. Radovid proceeded to complete his ritual. As they had in Novigrad, pyres burned in Tamaria and Edirne, lands now liberated by the Vidanian money. In the drive for moral renewal, simple herbalists, pellers, healers, and non-humans, all supposed heretics, were murdered in droves. For many, freedom beneath Radovid's scepter proved more tragic than servitude to another. This went from one victory to the next. Nier's subjects remained boundlessly obedient. When a string of humiliating defeats proved Var Envy's failure, the opposition, as far as secret, attacked. The subjects of the Emperor who had danced on the graves of his foes laid him to rest in a tomb of his own. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dull. Cyrilla, Fiona, Helen, Rihanna, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the Ma While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well afternoon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else.